Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is 0x8007015. So if you're receiving this error code on Microsoft Store or while updating Windows 10 on your computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to set volume shadow copy to automatic in services. So go ahead and type in services in Windows search box. Click on services app. And here you can see volume shadow copy. Make a double click on it. And then make sure startup type is set to automatic. And then click on apply. Then click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. And with volume shadow copy selected, click on restart. And then try to update your Windows 10 or you can start using store. Now still you're facing the problem. Uninstall power ISO. So if you have this application installed on your computer, go ahead and uninstall this uh, application if you don't need it because this is what is causing problem for many users. So go ahead and open settings. So click on settings. Go to apps. And then type in power ISO in the search box. And here you can see power ISO. Click on it. Then click on uninstall. Uninstall. Click on yes to allow. And once this is uninstalled, you can go ahead and restart your computer. And then just restart your computer after this. And then you can use the store and you can try to update Windows 10. The next step is to run Windows Update Troubleshooter. For this, open settings. Go to Update and Security. And then click on Troubleshoot. Click on Additional Troubleshooter. Click on Windows Update. Then click on Run the Troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot troubleshooting is done, restart your computer and then use Store or try to update Windows 10. The next step is to run DISM and SFC command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command. The command is provided in the video description. Paste it on the power uh, command prompt window and then hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, on the same window, run the second command. Copy this command. Paste it on the power cell window once this scan is complete, then hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and then you can start using store or update Windows 10. The next step is to restart Windows Update Services. For this, again type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find Windows Update in the list. Scroll down and here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Click on apply. And then if start is highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. With Windows Update selected, click on restart. Now the next step is to run Windows Store App Troubleshooter. For that, open settings once again. Go to Update and Security. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Additional Troubleshooter. Scroll down. And here you can see Windows Store Apps. Click on Run the Troubleshooter. and then. Once this is done, try to use store. The next step is to clear store cache using WS reset command. So just type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset, make a right click, then click on run as administrator. You will see a black screen over here. Do not close this black screen. Wait for few seconds or maybe a minute. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft store. So once the Microsoft Store is open, you can start using Store if you are receiving this error message on Store. The next step is to reset Store app. To reset Store app, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Then click on Apps. Then find Microsoft Store. Just type in Store and then click on Advanced option, click on it. And then scroll down and here you can see the Reset option, click on Reset, Reset. And once this is done, you can use this tool. Once you see the tick mark over here, then you can launch the store once again. Now, the next step is to use Windows 10 Update Assistant. So, 
you can use Windows Update Assistant to update your Windows 10. So you can go ahead and type in Media Creation Tool in Windows Search uh, in Google Search, and this will take you to Microsoft website. So click on Microsoft website, and here you can see Update Now option. So click on Update Now. Run this exe file, and then click on Yes to allow. It will load Update Assistant. It will check. If there is any pending update, it will tell you to install it and then you can install it. If that does not work, you can use Media Creation Tool. So on the same website, click on Download Tool now. A exe file will download. You have to go ahead and run this exe file and then you will see this screen. So agree to the terms, then select the option which says upgrade this PC now. Then click on Next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. This process will take time. So let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, before installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now, once this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. And after that, you can log into your computer and that this error should go away. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.